Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. One more time for enthusiasm. <sighs> Can you tell how exhausted I am today? Apparently in the leasing world, it's very normal for people to have like three to four clients a month. I have closed four clients in the last three days alone. Is that even right or have I closed five now? Oh, I closed five. I'm exhausted. So I actually got reached out to by Layla, who is actually a YouTuber here in Chicago as well. And she owns a restaurant in Lincoln Park called Black and Caspin. So she reached out to me and asked if Alex and I want to go check out her restaurant because I've never been there before and I'm very excited We are getting ready to head to dinner and I cannot wait And then the second exciting part of that news is Princess Polly actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try some of their clothes And I always thought that Princess Polly's clothes were just like cute trendy girl clothes But I went to their website and they had really good staples Which was great because like I don't have many work clothes because I've been working from home for forever And so now that I'm like client facing and I go on these tours and stuff I needed some like like nice work outfits and so I got some good stuff and I'm really excited so I'm gonna wear a new outfit tonight and I can't wait I'm gonna show you some of the things I got and then we're gonna go to dinner okay I talked all that stuff about it how I bought basics and then I put on my outfit and I was like these are not basics this is like the most extra outfit I've ever worn but I love it this leopard jacket sorry it's nighttime I'll probably do a try on haul for you tomorrow during the day so you can actually see but I want to show you tonight because I'm really excited about this but I've got this leopard jacket on and then this bodysuit she cute it's got like a bra belt in which is great because like no bra life just isn't that fun i think it's really flattering i love the square neckline and then probably my favorite is these pants how do girls do fashion all right these pants are like faux leather pants but i love them because they are super comfortable the inside is like almost like a sweatpant material it's like fuzzy so super comfy super great for winter i feel like they're professional but edgy so these will be so great for me when i'm doing apartment tours and stuff we are gonna head out and go to this restaurant and i'm so so excited it's a meditative Mediterranean restaurant. It starts with a look, with all that it took. I feel like I had too much champagne. It starts with a touch, I'm lost in the rush. Boy, you like bubbles in my brain. You're under my skin, I'm drinking you in. Like I can't get enough champagne. What's your first impression? I'm really excited, and this place is really nice. We never come to places like this. So this is really fun. Yeah, I'm really impressed. I know we do. That was so much fun. Layla is one of the co-owners of Black and Caspin. She's awesome. You guys need to go follow her. I'll put her information down below. But Layla's from Azerbaijan. She moved away from Azerbaijan when she was 18 and just her story is incredible. And she runs this non for profit where they have a book club in Azerbaijan with kids. And she was awesome. She was just so, so, so cool. The food obviously was amazing. <laughs> we were floored. Everything was delicious. You go get the octopus. That was probably our favorite thing from the night. It was so so good but everything was delicious you should check it out black and cast it. yeah such a good time good morning guys and happy saturday today i have an insane day of tours in front of me i'm touring two different clients i'm going to eight places <sighs> it's gonna be a long day i also slept like garbage last night it's freaking eight degrees outside and i'm gonna be bouncing all over the city oh today is gonna be a day really quick i wanted to show off this bag that i got in the mail angela roy and they sent me this purse and i'm gonna take it with me today but it's like this taupe colored purse this one is is the Grace Mini 20 and it comes with this chain so it can be like just a side bag but it also comes with this strap. I'm not normally somebody who needs to carry a purse around because I just have my like phone wallet case and my keys but on days like today when I'm gone all freaking day. So I'm packing myself a breakfast bar and a protein shake in this bag as well as like my camera and my phone and everything because I'm gonna need some food. All right I gotta go. I'm gonna be late.
All right, you guys, I just got home. Today was so crazy. It was so long. I showed so many apartments. If I added up every single unit, it was stupid. I couldn't film in all of them. I got told off for one of them. I didn't even tell you that. You somebody, got told off? Yeah, somebody, somebody was like, no, you cannot film here. Completely not okay. And I was like, you literally could have just told me no, and I would have been like, all right, fine. Yeah, yeah it was very weird. It. Today was crazy and chaotic, but it was so good. And my clients both closed, which was great. This means I've closed nine. I have one more tomorrow. And if I close that one, I've closed 10 this week. It's just been an insane week. And honestly, I freaking deserve it. And we're going out to dinner at a restaurant that's like, it's not like a crazy fancy restaurant, but it is far fancier than I normally go to. I am very much like a hole in the wall type of girl. And we're going out to freaking dinner. And I'm pumped because I earned it. I am so tired and I want a cocktail and I want somebody to hand it to me. Off we go. All right, happy Sunday. I've worn this blazer every single day. Don't judge me. I totally forgot to film dinner last night. We went to the Smith. Never been there before. It was so good and literally everything I was looking for in like a nice celebration dinner that wasn't like going absolutely crazy. We got mac and cheese and split a burger and had a couple oysters and a Moscow mule and it was just like perfect. Like it was a really great way to end a really long, hard day that was like successful and I just want to celebrate. So we had so much fun, was way too in the moment, completely forgot to film it. They had like a little Polaroid section thing downstairs. What, what is that called? A photo booth, they had a photo booth downstairs. And so we did photo booth pictures and I'll put them up on the screen. I think they turned out really Cute. Really, really, really happy with yesterday. It was just an overall great day. Now it's Sunday. It's 10.30 right now. I just finished my 10th client tour this week. That is insane. And it went really well. I think that she's actually gonna sign an apartment. I showed her an apartment that I've showed on my videos before, so I'm not gonna show that one. But I wanna show a different apartment that I toured her in as well that is still open and available that I think is really cool. So I'm gonna take you guys and I wanna show you that one right now. So this is a studio apartment unit. When you first walk in, here is your closet. Just turn off the lights. This is the craziest thing to me. It's so much bigger than it looks. So you have this huge closet. You have extra racks up there so you can put tubs up top. You can easily fit like a dresser this way or do a dresser going that way. Hooks on the back of the door. You got a lot of room to play with. It's really deceivingly large. And then over on this side, I'll take you into the bathroom. So you have hooks on the walls for towels, your toilet, sink. Good morning, everybody. I'm in here by myself, which is why I have no mask. Your cabinets, standing shower with the subway tile. I love the baskets on the wall. And then the rain shower head and the secondary one. Out here, you have your standing washer dryer. And then your general living space. This is your kitchen and living room. I know you might be thinking, Kyra, where would my bed go? It would go up there. It would go up here into my walk-in bedroom. This is your bedroom space. You easily have room for a king size bed up here. You have lights and a light switch up here and down below. Tons of room for storage. I've seen people do like a tension rod or hang like drapes along here so you can't see all the stuff you've stored. I've also seen people put like bedside tables under there and whatnot. Super cute, very, very cool space to have up here. And then this is your living room space down below. So still plenty of space for like a sofa. I would do like TV or desk over in that corner. You could do like a kitchen island and some bar stools. And then your kitchen, full size fridge and freezer, gas range stove, open shelving. Also these windows are 16 feet. It's just so cool. I think these units are so cool. If you want this part Holla at you, girl. But yeah, it's Sunday morning now. I'm just in a great mood. I want to like extremely thoroughly deep clean our apartment because it's driving me crazy. And then this evening is the Super Bowl. So I think I'm just gonna clean all morning. We might go get Indian food because it's one of our favorite things to do on the weekend. And then tonight I'm gonna make sheet pan nachos for us to eat while we watch the Super Bowl. This should be a good, a good wholesome Sunday for the vlog. Okay, I realized I never did my Princess Polly haul to show you all of the cool clothes I got. And I keep wearing them in every scene. So I need to do this haul and show you all the clothes I got because I'm excited. This turtleneck is the only thing I didn't get from them. Everything else I'm about to show you is from them. Cue the runway music. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world They wanna be her. I'm like quite 
cringing at myself for this full haul because this is so out of my comfort zone. But you know what? We gotta push ourselves out of those comfort zones every once in a while. And this was really fun for me. Like I love all of the pieces I got. I was like excited to show you guys. And I need you to know the entire time I was walking up and down my hallway, all that was playing in my head was the like model song from the Lizzie McGuire movie. I can't play the song because I'll get copywritten, but the song that's like, you better work, cover girl, make it twirl, make it twirl, do your thing on the runway. These are the things that happened in my mind. Team Titans cleaning, go. What? Ow, that hurt. Your nails like caught on my skin. Why would you do that? I don't know, I was feeling enthusiastic. <laughs> She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they wanna be her. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever. She lives a double life, puts on a show. What's under the subtle smile? She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about the features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about the features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Alright, we've cleaned, we had Indian food, and we went to Trader Joe's. And I don't have enough stuff from Trader Joe's to do like a full Trader Joe's haul, so I thought I would just show you guys in the vlog. Really, I still have so much food left over from the H Mart trip in my last vlog that I didn't need a ton of stuff, but I needed a couple basics, and then today is the Super Bowl, so I'm making sheet pan nachos, which is one of my favorite things to make when we're watching a game sometimes, because it's just like super easy to pick at and really easy to make. And then the leftovers, I always make the next day, and I put an egg on them and make them like a chilaquile style. Super fun, super easy, wanted to show you that. So first thing I got was eggs. We have some eggs left, but I just didn't want to run out, especially since I want to do chili chilaquiles. Then I got the giant bag of chips. This bag is two pounds of tortilla chips. Then it's my stepsister's birthday this week. Her birthday's on Valentine's Day. She's a little Valentine's baby. And so I wanted to get them a birthday card. I thought this was super cute. Loved this. Wanted to get another salad for this week. So this one, I got the sesame chopped salad. This one's super good. Just since I have so many Asian ingredients right now, I thought this would be really easy to have. And then we could put like wontons or something on top of it. Alex got more of the rolled chili lime chips. These are his favorite right now, right? Would you say those are your favorite chip? No. No? What's your favorite chip? I don't have a favorite chip. I don't reserve something to be my favorite. And he got the peanut butter pretzels. These are one of his favorites as well. Why, why do you decide my favorites are high up? Why is this your decision? Because I'm also your favorite. And then another one of his favorites. Just kidding, these probably aren't his favorites. We don't get these all the time. But the plantain chips, he wanted these too. Then I got taco seasoning. This is for the sheet pan nachos tonight. And I'm gonna do it with ground turkey. I use ground turkey instead of ground beef. I don't notice a difference, but with the taco seasoning, it's nice and, oh, oh. It's nice and spicy. And then I just sprinkle that all over. Alex got a thing of the Lagunitas IPAs. He also got a bag of sunflower seeds for him to snack on. Then I got a thing of the Coquita Street Corn. This is the frozen corn. It is so, 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 so good. So I'm going to make this and I'll top this onto the nachos as well, along with the thick and chunky salsa. This will go on them. The Cuban style black beans. But I don't, there's not really a reason why I picked these over the regular black beans. These ones have green bell peppers, onion, garlic, sea salt and spices. So I just thought it'd be more fun than like a plain black bean, but whichever. And then this is new. I haven't tried this. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but I'm excited. Black garlic that Trader Joe's just came out with. And it says, use like garlic, delicious on avocado toast, in butter and sauces, on vegetables and proteins, or anytime you want an extra depth of flavor. Subtly sweet caramelized 
guys like flavor full of umami. We're excited. And then we got a lot of booze. We got this bullet whiskey. Jamie, who's one of my followers on here, and she joins into my cooking with Kai Twitch every single week. Told me I need to try this whiskey, so I did. Then I got just a bottle of Tubak Chuck. I'm gonna make a thing of Glug, which is like a Swedish hot mulled wine drink. And so I don't really care. I thought it'd be fine to do with Tubak Chuck. Whatever. And then Tito's. Tito's is just always our favorite. That is everything. Just like a little baby mini haul, but I thought I'd give you a little preview since I'm gonna be using a lot of this stuff to make the nachos later. So tell me who's gonna love you, love you like I do Who's gonna touch you, touch you like I do Who's gonna love you, love you like I do watch the game if you like this video please give it a thumbs up of course if you don't already go follow me over on instagram i post tons of content over there you're able to keep up with my life a lot more live which is really fun and follow me over on twitch i do live streaming two times a week tuesdays and thursdays 6 p.m central standard time and i would love 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 for you to join it's super fun and i love that i get to like interact with you guys live and lastly of course if you haven't already please hit that big red subscribe button i post two times a week and i would love to have you follow along thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time so tell me who's gonna love you, love you like I do Who's gonna touch you, touch you like I do Who's